Hi all today, I'm listening from NAS Creations. Uh, I hope you are all okay. Uh, today I'm bringing for you a chutney gosh. It's like a make with chutney and the cooking gosh. But it's very yummy, you can eat with chapati naan. Uh, so I'm going to show you my own ingredient and we are going to start from marination my marinating my goose and then we're going to do another process because uh, mutton takes long to cook so let's get started let me show you my ingredient so here i have got my lamb mutton i have here 800 gram i've got here milk powder yogurt garlic ginger so i took single amount of ginger and double amount for garlic this coriander is for garnish I've got here for chutney, coriander, I took little bit of cashew nuts, I've got here, uh, this garam masala is for marination, uh, garam masala, I've got here green chili, whole masala, um, cinnamon stick, cardamom, lo long is uh, black pepper and uh, this long and um, badam, almond, almond, yeah. Okay, and I have got here coriander powder, cumin powder, turmeric powder, chili powder, salt, onion for cooking while I'm cooking. I got here whole cumin, oil and ghee. So I'm cooking in both oil and ghee. So I'm going to start from marination first because I need to leave a little bit for marinade while I'm going to start to make my chutney, my lamb. You can marinate hour before, you can marinate day before, according to your choice, yeah? And I've got here paprika as well, yeah? Okay. So I'm going to start to do marination for my lamb here. I'm going to start from turmeric powder. A teaspoon of turmeric powder. Coriander powder, one tablespoon. Cumin powder, one tablespoon. And chili powder as well. Here. Uh, because I've got their, their green chilies, I'll not. I'm going to try after. If it's okay, yeah. Uh, salt, little bit to taste. Garam masala, yogurt. I've got here a bowl of yogurt. Yeah, so I'm going to marinate it. I have already washed my hand before. Mm. Yeah, so I have marinate this. So I'm going to put apart this. Yeah. So I'm going to make uh, chutney in here. Yeah. So I'll put here one uh, tablespoon of ginger, two tablespoon of garlic, the whole garam masala, my almond my cashew nuts and green chili you have to combine both green chili and red chili so don't get uh, spicy and um, i've got here coriander fresh coriander you can put as much you want you like i've got here coconut powder little bit about two tablespoon to, because with uh, almond, onion, uh, coconut powder and the cashew nuts, they get uh, creamy. I'm going to bring water. Yeah. So to, to make little bit grind better, I'm going to add water. And now, out here, I'm going to grind this.
done so my chutney is ready look wow very smooth and fine chutney ready so now we are going to start to cook my gosh so first i'm going to start to put cumin whole cumin about tablespoon when i use it i'm going to put here ghee and oil a combination of both ghee and oil yeah i put amount in the section below but you know i like how much we need in yeah? it so here is now as my ghee and oil are melted i'm going to put start to put here onion approximately 3 big onion in 800 g i i have made so i need to braise them all until they are golden brown so my onions are uh, golden brown so i'm going to put my marinade lamb lamb in high flame for about 5 to 6 minutes so i'm going to transfer in my very high flame cooker and uh, and i'm going to add paprika just to do a little bit uh, better color So this is not spicy. It's just to do, make it color, better color. Uh, and my before uh, I'm so sorry. Before I start to cook in high flame, I have to put my chutney. Yeah. So finish my all ingredient. Wow, smelling very nice actually. Yeah, yeah. So I need to cook this in high flame for about uh, six to seven minutes because uh, this lamb is it takes longer to cook. So we are going to put water, but before that. I'm going to cook without water in very high flame, about six to seven minutes. Yeah, so I tried and I made my husband try, but the salt was little bit less, so I'm adding salt here, and it's been like about three minutes, four minutes. So I'm continuously cooking little bit on high flame. I really need to buy big pot, but <laughs> for the moment it's fine. I need to go and buy. It will take a little bit, a month of time, inshallah. But I will definitely. Look, oil is extracting, separating from the marination. So it means I can now. Start to put oil. If you want to do in your pressure cooker, yeah, you are very free to do that. Cook in the pressure cooker, but I am today not going to cook in my pressure cooker. So now I have add here water in the same chutney, uh, so I can take all masalas, and I'm going to add here water and let it boil for first boil. And then I'm going to do a little bit medium to low flame, so my my lamb cook. If I need more water, I'm going to add more water here because maybe not enough this water. So this is all according to how it's. If it's in the pressure cooker, you first we have to put in the pressure cooker and 
put in high flame for one whistle and then for 15 to 20 minutes in a very low flame but now I am cooking only in this pot so I'm getting it boil first in high flame then I'm going to move in a little bit low flame so it's still too far away now I'm moving to a very low flame because it will burn and not cook low flame yeah and let it medium to low flame and let it cook if I see it's not cooked I'm going to add more water so look my uh, chutney gosh is ready oh my god smells lovely and it's so creamy I'm just checking again if uh, my lamb is cooked that is perfectly cooked. So I'm going to dish and come back to you. So I'm going to plate, ready to serve with chapati. So finally, I'm going to put here coriander, and it's just ready to serve with my chapatis. So viewers, I hope you like my recipe and please start to make it. It's very easy. Uh, it is time consuming. It's only for cooking lamb. And apart from that, it's very easy and all ingredients you can have at home. And please don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed. It's completely free. And don't forget to like and share with your friends and family. And it means a lot for me. And please, um, till then, just be safe and I'll come back to you with new videos. I'm thinking to make videos with uh, in uh, Hindi because many people are requesting me to make in Hindi. So I'll come back maybe inshallah with next video in Hindi. Inshallah. Till then, bye-bye. Ciao.